We don't feel the worst when younger. We just want fun. I've made my mistakes and can't change history. But I wish I could go back and do things differently. I started smoking with my friends from school. I didn't even like the taste. I wanted to be part of the crowd. A few years later in my college days, that cigarette developed into spliffs. Pills. Cocaine. With, of course, the booster boost to set you free. I mean, what's the harm? Look how good it makes us feel. Look how cool it makes me look. Complete paradise. How could I turn down something that gives me confidence? And a few extra quid in my back pocket. Of course I was warned by people that loved me. But what did they know? I was a grown up now. I could be independent and do what I want. Who cares what other people think? even if they are my family. For a year or so I held down a basic job, no problem. Enough to pay the bills, enough to pay for my hobbies. But eventually, the drugs, the alcohol started to affect my work, my concentration, my motivation. I pulled so many sickies that in the end I lost my job. I didn't care. I made more money selling drugs anyway. But this job comes with risks. now entered addiction road and that's the road no one wants to walk down. Of course some people will say well, I've been doing drugs 20 years it's never done me any harm but is it worth that gamble? The constant paranoia, hallucinations, the daily panic attacks, the complete juxtaposition of the good old days, the time where you need your friends the most and the shames of what you've put your family through. The side effects did help me stop doing street drugs and dealing but it was too late now. The brain damage had already developed. So what next? Well then you become so paranoid and mentally ill that you need doctor's treatment. Then hospital treatment. And huge amounts of medication that put you right back at the beginning of Addiction Road. Of course the meds helped the voices go. But I felt sick every day. A zombie. I didn't recognise me anymore. I just wanted to die. I was desperate for a miracle, but at the same time knew all this was my own doing. I was warned. Seventeen years later, and I still suffer from the past. A daily reminder of the hell drugs caused me. So many young people take drugs to find peace and happiness, but eventually, it will just be another issue to take care of. Our health is so important. If we don't take care of our bodies, then it will break you eventually, no matter how strong you think you are. Be healthy and live your life. Be addicted to that. <laughs>